Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Premier League reviews on my channel for the 21-22 season. Uh, as with the other leagues, I didn't do a pre uh, proper preview. Yes, I did it for Austria, but I, have, I couldn't do it because of vacation. So I want to start out there and then we will look uh, into what happened on a weekend. That was quite interesting uh, to say. The least um, many goals, quite some remarkable results. And as I said, the overall arching team is our city giving everyone a head start, as you saw already in the main headline. Um, here are the expected final standings as of the as of prior to the season, and you can see there's only one team that is uh, the big favorite again, which is Manchester City. Uh, given that they have Jack Grealish, uh, they may get Harry Kane. They already were the dominant team last season. So um, it was only to be expected. Ratings everywhere high for, for, for them. Uh, the bookmakers favor them uh, very uh, big. Not a surprise that they're up there. However, there are three teams in Chelsea, Liverpool, and maybe to a slightly lesser degree. Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, United looked impressive. Um, that may challenge for the title if they can get a run together. I think Chelsea now, especially with Lukaku uh, up front, that, that, that might give them a goal-scoring threat that they need. Although I have to see how that works. Uh, overall, um, is probably the most obvious challenger to Manchester City. Uh, and I actually would say, uh, from my feeling, that Chelsea is probably a whole lot closer to City uh, than uh, these expected standings do. Liverpool, to me, is the surprise package. Uh, we all would agree that if Liverpool would have stayed healthy, they probably could have challenged Manchester City a whole lot more than they did last season. However, uh, they barely have added anyone. Uh, they lost Wijnaldum. Um, Will Virgil van Dijk get fit on time? So those are my questions that I have that maybe uh, this year off without having a proper renewal in there could actually hurt Liverpool. They have the talent. As you can see in the ratings, uh, clearly they have the talent. They put a run together late in the, in the season. Um, but I don't know. It's very hard to call them. And similar to Manchester United, I think Manchester United, up until we had the Grealish Messi saga, Manchester United was grabbing all the headlines with their appointment. And I have to say, they did a really good job. You got Sancho in, you got uh, Varane. Uh, in uh, there was probably another one too that I'm now forgetting. In any case, I think there is a lot to a uh, lot of good stuff there at United, and um, as we already saw at the week at the, the weekend, if Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba play the way they they, they were playing then uh, and keep this consistently, I think United can also be very very dangerous. Then we have the pack of the you know teams that probably have good squads. Um, but might a little bit too thin, a little bit too in inconsistent. I actually find Arsenal in fifth already uh, kind of improbable. I actually see that, see that, think that Leicester again will be the team most likely to go for the top four, in my opinion. Um, the other thing we see a lot of in there, I mean, West Ham uh, will, is unlikely to repeat the good season, although who knows, uh, Everton and Leeds maybe. Got to see. Um, most interesting, I think, is of course who is on the bottom going down, especially the promoter teams. And I have to say, I have an eye on Brentford, mainly because I'm a statistician and I want to know if this money ball approach will also work for them. Uh, I think it's quite in interesting that they are given such a good shot in surviving overall. Um, uh, here, um, Crystal Palace, yeah, we kind of saw it already last season that uh, they were not that good, so I wouldn't be too surprised if Crystal Palace would go down. Norwich and Watford at the moment also favorites, but let's see where it goes. I keep hearing Burnley uh, also be touted of going down. In any case, uh, the first weekend, I mean, it started out with a bang where Brentford 
beat Arsenal 2-0. Uh, probably the game was much more even than uh, the result might suggest, but uh, still, again, another bad start for Ar Arsenal. The upcoming schedule is not really conducive to picking up a lot of points, and I think Arteta could very early be already on the hot seat. Uh, probably the performance of the weekend in many ways uh, was Manchester United's 5-1 win over Leeds. Uh, a performance that would be way more impressive if it wasn't that they beat Leeds 6-2 um, last season as well. So kind of, you know, lightning, is it lightning striking twice or is really United uh, owning Leeds uh, left and right? Um, Outstanding performance, Bruno Fernandes getting a hat-trick and uh, Paul Pogba getting four assists and not uh, you know, well, some of those were absolutely great balls and flicks and well, it was really impressive stuff. Uh, just need to mention the alien goal, I think it was nice, but it didn't last long and then um, they ran riot all over Leeds United. Uh, Chelsea had it also really easy over Crystal Palace. Uh, Crystal Palace really, really showing that they might be an early candidate for uh, going down Really not showing much with Alonso Pulisic and uh, Jaboa, uh, no, Jaloba, Jaloba, <laughs> I cannot read, despite him having <laughs> classes, uh, getting uh, the goals and maybe there's a title challenge there. Uh, I thought that the Leicester result against Wolves uh, was an in in interesting one. Watford never should have been uh, that close. Overall, Liverpool also having it rather easy. 3-0 over Norwich, probably the uh, game of the weekend for a null throws Newcastle against uh, West Ham United. Uh, that was definitely a fun game to watch. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't watch too much because I was just too tired and fell asleep on it. Which doesn't say anything about the quality because I was just wiped uh, from uh, traveling. Uh, but when I saw the highlights, really, really uh, fun stuff there. The Newcastle jerseys uh, look a little bit weird with the sponsor, but yeah, they had a 2 1 lead at the half and then uh, didn't have a shot on goal any, any, anymore. And um, West Ham put in a really good performance to get that win. And then. Uh, in what normally is probably the shock result, but in many ways it is not uh, Spurs beating City. Why is it not a shocker? Because City never have won. I mean, 1-0 uh, through Son, that sounds already familiar. Uh, <laughs> very much so. The second thing is that uh, City doesn't really have the squad yet together. They were barely training together. I think City is a team that needs to find itself. And once that happens, then I think, uh, hold on everyone. That's, I think, how, how the season will go. I definitely think that the way things are turning out at the moment, City are giving the rest a little bit of a head start and it started there. Uh, Spurs defending valiantly. Uh, the goal, I have to say, was very poorly defended by City because, I mean, the way Son gets the ball far on the outside and cuts uh, dead, dead, dead in and no one is backing Ake really up. That's a goal that should not happen. Uh, and yeah. But a big win for Spurs to start the season uh, with all the negatives around, you know, not finding a manager for a long, long time. Then Nuno Espirito Santo, not maybe the most uh, inspired signing. Uh, so, and then Kane wanting to leave. So maybe a good start for uh, Spurs there and for City, as I said. We'll have to wait. Um, it, it really doesn't change much uh, who are the favorites, although it got a little bit tighter now. Overall, if you see the, just the chances here in the first official standings, which are of course ridiculous because with only one game played, there is not much uh, there to say. However, we can uh, definitely look at the expected final standings now. Uh, it got a teeny bit tighter with Liverpool getting a boost, uh, all three of them getting a, bo a boost and Liverpool is moving slightly ahead of Chelsea. Uh, probably down to the fact that Liverpool's 3-0 at Norwich was probably a little bit more impressive than Chelsea's 3-0 over uh, Crystal Palace. United though also uh, catching up there. So getting a teeny bit tighter, you see there's a little bit more for Man City. On the bottom, now we see Burnley going all the way down. Watford and Norwich still are the ones going down uh, and Arsenal and Spurs switching slots. Uh, the next round, uh, I'm... 
for some reason Leeds against Everton is something that I have in mind. Of course, the big one is Arsenal Chelsea. Uh, that's a big name matchup. West Ham against Leicester. There are two is Leicester a surprise team? Maybe. But uh, two, two teams that had an interesting uh, season, at least meeting uh, then on Monday. That, I think, is also an interesting uh, game for sure. Uh, let's see, United play at Southampton, uh, Liverpool against Burnley. Um, so rounding out and City at home to Norwich. So I don't see many things. Wolves against Spurs, Monaco going home also an interesting one. So that's it for me for the first video of the Premier League season. Um, I keep another Premier League in its own video, like, like Serie A, makes a whole lot of sense. Um, should the Scottish League get better and should I uh, find more time, uh, I might actually add Scotland uh, starting next season there, but wait and see, that's just a thought. But uh, for this season, I make Premier League only, mainly down to because I have so many Premier League jerseys uh, that I have. Even Norwich, I fit in there, so uh, that is definitely the uh, one good reason that and best league, uh, most talented league uh, in many ways. So for that reason, in any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.